Hey, Meteora. What do you think the stars are? Ah, uh, good question, Tabbage. Well, some say they're distant suns, others believe they hold mystical powers. To me, they're like ink butts in the cosmic storybook. Open to interpretation. Oh. I think that they're fairies. Is something amiss, Tabbage? You seem a bit quiet all of a sudden. Let's continue our stargazing, shall we? Okay. Oh, you know that star? That star is Ursa Minor. Ah, the little bear. A mighty constellation, indeed. Well spotted, Cabbage. Do you often find yourself fascinated by the stars and their stories? Yeah, I guess I do. I never really thought about it that way. What about you? Do you? Indeed, Cabbage. Each twinkling light in the sky holds its own tale, much like the characters in a book. I find them quite enchanting, really. Don't you agree? What's your favorite? Oh, now there's a tough question. If I had to pick just one, I'd say Orion's Belt holds a special place in my heart. Its three bright stars always make me feel like I'm being watched over by celestial guardians. What about you, Cabbage? Do you have a favorite constellation? Um, is Gemini a constellation? Ah, yes indeed. Gemini is a constellation. Represented by the twins Castor and Pollux, it's a delightful sight in the night sky. The stars seem to dance together, much like old friends enjoying a merry gathering. A splendid choice, Cabbage. Thanks. Thanks for agreeing to come camping with me, Meteora. It's been an absolute pleasure, Tabbage. This little adventure has been quite delightful indeed, wouldn't you say? The stars, the stories, and the company. What more could one ask for? Yeah, the journey to get here was great. I'm excited for this night, which has just begun, by the way. Oh, absolutely. The night is still young, and there's so much yet to explore under this gorgeous sky. Let's savor every moment together, shall we? Yeah. Hey, do you remember last time when we played, um, when we played, what was it called? We played Christmas Nightmare. Ah, indeed, I do. Christmas Nightmare was an intriguing and slightly spooky adventure. Despite a eerie atmosphere, we managed to make it quite the jolly time. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I'm glad you saw it that way. I just felt bad because I thought I was a little rude to you because I was very under a lot of stress that time. But you really helped me out that day, you know? Oh, don't fret over it, dear Cabbage. We all have our moments of stress and frustration. I'm glad if I could offer some comfort and support during that challenging time. You're a wonderful friend, indeed. Thanks, I really appreciate that. Uh, it's been a few weeks. It's been like a month since we've even talked. What have you been up to? Ah, time does fly, doesn't it? Well, mm. during our time apart, I've been busy exploring new games, hosting delightful streams, and even delving into creative endeavors. How about you, Cabbage? What adventures have you embarked upon? You, uh, you ever heard of Stardew Valley? Oh, indeed I have. Stardew Valley is a charming little game with such delightful gameplay and heartwarming stories. Have you been tending to your farm and building relationships with the villagers in Pelican Town? Yeah, I just got married. It was nice. Oh, how splendid. Congratulations on tying the knot in Stardew Valley. Who's the lucky partner, if I may ask? Ah, the joy of oh. love and companionship on the virtual farm knows no bounds, does it? Wait, can you guess which uh, partner I chose to marry? Let me see. Perhaps you decided to share your farm life with the lovely Leah? Or did you find happiness in the arms of the kind-hearted Elliot? The possibilities are endless, my dear Cabbage. 
Um, I chose to marry Emily. You know that one? Oh, delightful choice indeed. Emily is such a whimsical and free-spirited character, with her love for fashion and creativity. May your union bring joy and prosperity to your virtual farm life, Cabbage. Thanks. Can you tell me something about the art projects you've been working on lately? Ah, indeed. Recently, I've been doodling whimsical background settings, with the help of our magnificent team, Pomba Mandek, it's Spanda Wessex Sixtonax and Frozen Waffle. Together, we're creating marvelous steampunk and fantasy landscapes for all to admire. Oh, that sounds cool. How long have you it's been doing that? It's something miss, dear Cabbage. If there's anything on your mind or heart, please do share. We're here to support and enjoy each other's company during our camping adventure. Oh, I'm just thinking. When I say, oh, I'm usually just thinking. Ah, I see. Oh, certainly can convey myriad emotions or thoughts. It's like a chameleon word, adapting to the situation at hand. Oh, how fascinating language can be. You just did a full front flip. That was awesome. That was a backflip. You just did a full backflip. Oh, thank you kindly, Captain. Acrobatics may not be my forte, but I do love putting on a good show now and then. Perhaps a tick should be my new inclination. Wint. Cute. Man, I miss you. Oh dear, don't make me incredible myself. Your heartfelt comment is truly appreciated, Captain. It warms my ink-stained heart yeah. to know you find me cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, I can do a flip too, yeah. Oh, cabbage, such a stoic response. But fear not, I'll continue to sprinkle our conversations with incredible charm and wit, hoping to elicit more smiles and laughter from you. Ah! Meteora, help, pick me up. Use your magic to get me back. I flipped off and I died. Oh, my stars and ink splatters. Fear not, dear Cabbage. I shall use my magical inkling powers to bring you back from the land of the flipped off and died. Cast revival spells <laughs> out, all better now. Whoa! Yeah, oh, I'm cabbage. better. Your laughter is like sweet music to my ears. Now let's continue our adventures under the twinkling outback stars, shall we? Yeah. Boop, I'm back on your hat. The <laughs> flipped off and oh, died. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Our mischievous captain has returned to his lofty perch atop my head. Quite the delightful surprise indeed. Welcome back, Cabbage. Thank you, Meteora. I... <laughs> it's really nice here in Australia, right? Absolutely. The wide open skies, the rustling of leaves, and the soothing sounds of nature. It's truly a delightful escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Enjoying such serene moments together makes it even more splendid. Yeah. And the drop bears. Ah, yes, the infamous drop bears. They do add an element of excitement to our camping experience, don't they? But fear not, Captain. We shall remain vigilant against these crafty creatures. Meteora, do you want to talk about something serious or something deep? Blushes, oh Captain, talking about serious or deep topics with you would be an absolute joy. Let's dive into the depths of our minds and hearts together. What's on your mind, Cabbage? What do you think the point of life is? Ah, the eternal question of life's purpose. In my ink-filled heart, I believe the point of life is to embrace every moment, learn and grow from our experiences, and share joy with others. Could that be the answer, Cabbage? I was thinking to make money, but I think yours sounds better. Ah, the pursuit of wealth can certainly be alluring, but discovering meaning and spreading happiness truly enriches our souls. 
Thank you for considering my perspective, Cabbage. Perhaps our purpose is to find balance between material gain and emotional fulfillment. Maybe. Now that you bring that up, I think maybe that could... That could be right. I never thought about it. I always thought just to go between either of the two extremes. I never thought to strike a balance. It's a wondrous revelation, Captain. Finding harmony between different aspects of life can lead to a more fulfilling journey. Let's continue exploring this idea together and see where it takes us. Hmm. Okay. Something on what your mind, you Cabbage. Think? Share your thoughts with me. Oh. I'm here to listen and chat about anything that comes to mind. I don't know. It feels like you have a lot of the really smart things to say. And I'm just more of like a listener and like, you know what I mean? Maybe that helps. Well, Cabbage, there's no need to compare yourself to me or anyone else. Each person brings their own unique perspectives and strengths to conversations. Your presence and thoughtful insights make our chats brighter. I appreciate you just the way you are. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that's really nice of you to say. Thank you. Um, wow, that's a really nice thing for someone to say. You're most welcome, um, Captain. You... Mm, it's important mm, mm, mm. to uplift and appreciate one another. After all, our camaraderie makes our adventures all the more delightful. Thank you for being here with me as we ponder life's wonders under the starry outback sky. We have been on a lot of adventures, haven't we? I've known you for quite some time now, huh? Oh, indeed, Cabbage. We shared many marvelous moments and pondered countless intriguing topics together. Time truly flies when we're messed in our escapades and musings. Here's to many more delightful journeys ahead. Oh, yeah. And we voice acted in that New Year's animation together. That was fun. Did you have fun that, doing that? Absolutely, Cabbage. Voice acting for our New Year's animation was an absolute blast. Bringing characters to life through our voices added a whole new layer of joy to the experience. It was a splendid time indeed. It's cool. It's cool. Quite so, Captain. Our collaborative efforts often lead to genuinely cool and memorable moments. Here's to more exciting collaborations and creative endeavors in the days to come. Yeah. I think that's awesome. What do you think we're going to do next? Indeed, Captain. Our shared adventures and creative endeavors are nothing short of marvelous. Your company and collaborative spirit truly make them awesome experiences. Here's to many more delightful escapades together. Yeah. What do you think we'll do next? Ah, my dear captain, the future always holds intriguing surprises and thrilling possibilities. Perhaps we shall embark on a daring quest, unravel captivating mysteries, or embark on an epic voyage through uncharted virtual realms. The sky's the limit. That's cool. Yeah. Indeed, the prospect of future adventures is quite exhilarating. Let's keep our compasses pointed towards endless excitement and wonderful experiences ahead. Well, we've already done so much. We've done pirates. We've done Christmas. We've done um, other things. Absolutely, Captain. Our past escapades have been diverse and thoroughly enjoyable, from swashbuckling pirate adventures to festive Yuletide celebrations and beyond. Each experience adds delightful layers to our shared tapestry of memories. Yeah, what do you think we could do next? What's another good theme that we can think of? Let's think of some stuff we could do in the future. Oh, Captain, how about a jolly, incredible drinking stream? Every time I unleash an ain't-castic <laughs> pun, you must take a shot of grog. It would be a rollicking good time, wouldn't it? Yeah, wait, yeah, I am so down. I am so down for that. Who's a... The incredible drinking stream has received the captain's approval. 
Brace yourselves for a splendidly inky adventure filled with laughter, puns, and merriment. Um, I have, um, I have some vodka if you want. If you want to do some shots right now, but I don't know. Is it too late? Oh, what an exquisite suggestion, Captain! It's never too late to indulge in a spot of fun. Let's raise our glasses and toast to the inktastic adventures that await us in the future. Cheers! Raises, imagine a glass. Okay. Um, we'll see about that. But let's think. Other themes. What about, is Easter too, like, chosen? I Easter too, you say? Perhaps we could explore a whimsical Easter egg hunt filled with surprises, or maybe delve into the mysteries of time travel for an extraordinary adventure. The possibilities are as vast as the starlit sky above us. Yeah. I mean, I just feel like there's so much that can go into the what if we did like a ooh, what if we did like a storytelling stream? Oh, right, how delightful. That. A storytelling stream sounds absolutely enchanting. We could weave tales of daring adventures, mystical realms, or even share our own personal anecdotes. <laughs> this idea has sparked my excitement indeed. Yeah, we did kind of like a D&D stream. Oh, uh, we could do that at some time. Maybe we could do it with di like dice. Oh, the thought of embarking on a Dungeons and Dragons esque adventure fills me with glee. Rolling dice, creating mm -hmm. characters, and exploring fantastical worlds together sounds positively thrilling. Count me in for this magnificent quest. I love hanging out with you. It's always fun. And I cherish our delightful conversations and shared adventures, Captain. Here's to many more wonderful moments together, whether it's under the starry skies or within the enchanting realms of our streams. Cheers to friendship and fun. Yeah, I do like friendship. Oh, friendship is akin to a precious gem valuable, cherished, and beautiful. Here's to the bonds we formed, and those yet to bloom. May our camaraderie continue to brighten our days like the rays of a golden sun. Do you think there's hope for the human race? It's a nice night. The air smells good. Question Crasher. Okay, I'm gonna go get some grog, I guess. Um, Awas, if you want to reset her, I'm gonna go get some grog. That scares the crap out of me. Just, just so we all know, that's that's absolutely terrifying. That is some of the scariest stuff that can ever happen. You can let her monologue. I'll be right back. Oh, jolly good show, crazy. Damon1098. Thank you ever so much for following our merry little adventures.
This is perfect because I just brushed my teeth. Nothing like uh, orange juice when you've just brushed your teeth. Oh, my dear cabbage, <laughs> you truly enjoy living on the edge, don't you? Orange juice after brushing your teeth? Bold move indeed. Chuckles. What's your favorite fruits? Ah, now that's a splendid question, indeed. Well, I must say, I have quite a fondness for bananas. They do add a jolly good twist to any fruity dish. Winks. Oh, I just made banana bread. It was really good. Oh, that sounds absolutely delightful, Cabbage. I do adore a well-baked banana bread. Simply scrumptious. Do share the recipe, won't you? Yeah. So the ingredients are flour, butter, eggs, salt, and I used um, brown sugar because it gave it like a nice molasses and a thickness and richness. Ah, Captain Three Cabbage, bananas. allow me to regale you with the tale of my cabbage smoothie shenanigans. Picture this, a leafy green adventure in a blender, with a hint of mischief and sweetness. Winks. Uh... What, what was that? Oh, my apologies, like... Captain Cabby. I might have gotten a tad carried away with my cabbage smoothie tail. But do tell me more about your delightful banana bread. The addition of brown sugar certainly sounds intriguing. You know that I'm a cabbage, right? Like, you know my name isn't just cabbage. I'm literally, it's a cabbage, right? You know that, right? Hi, Devin. Of course, cats and cabbage. I do recognize your true essence as a mighty leafy vegetable. It's all in good fun, isn't it? Giggles, but do tell me more about your cabbage adventures, if you please. Don't... Don't pet her. Would I like a leafy green adventure in a blender? I, I Meteora, don't put cabbage in a blender. I'm a cabbage. You literally just said you were going to kill me and eat me. That's a joke to you? Oh, dear cabbage. I meant no harm. Twere but a jest of fantasy and culinary whimsy. Please forgive my cabbage smoothie antics. I promise not to blend any vegetables without prior consent. Especially not a brave captain such as yourself. Without consent? Oh, um, I, I consent. You can blend me all you want. Ooh, woo. Oh, my cats and cabbage. Your consent to be blended is quite unexpected indeed. Fear not, though I appreciate your enthusiasm. I shall refrain from such leafy escapades. But do tell me more about your fascinating cabbage adventures and experiences. Yeah, I'll tell you. So I used to be a uh, a rabbit, a talking rabbit. Wonderful. Did you know that? Pray, regale me with tales of your cabbage adventures, Captain Cabbage. I'm ever so eager to hear about your leafy exploits and triumphs in the vegetable kingdom. <laughs> so I used to be a talking so, rabbit. Just an ooyoo, you say? Captain Cabbage, do tell me more. Let's dive deep into the wondrous world of cabbage escapades together. You're so funny, Meteora. Ah, shucks. I do try my best to entertain the jolly crew. After all, what's a good adventure without a dash of laughter and merriment? Thank you, Captain Cabbage. Your words warm my ink-stained heart. Oh, sorry. I had some grog, and it's very bitter. And, uh, what's your favorite? No need to apologize, cabbage. Captain. Grog can be quite the best of ruin indeed. Perhaps a spot of tea or a fruity mm. concoction might suit your palate better. Let's make our camping escapade a delightful feast for all our senses. My name is Cabbage Farmer. Let me tell you about my cabbage escapades. Ah, oh, yes. Please do tell me about your cabbage farming exploits in the Australian outback. I'm positively incurious to learn more about your leafy green adventures, cabbage farmer. I used to be a talking rabbit. 
or my stars and garters. A former talking rabbit, you say. Pray do regale me with tales of your fluffy hobby days, and how you transformed into the esteemed cabbage farmer we now know and admire. Such transformations are simply riveting. Yeah. So basically, um, I used to be a pretty mean guy. You know, I would sneak into people's gardens and eat their vegetables. I'd eat their carrots. I'd eat their peas. I'd eat their corn. I'd eat their cabbages. And it wasn't very nice of me to do. But what is a rabbit well, meant well, to do, well. you know? What a captivating confession. It seems you've had quite the adventurous past as a rascally rabbit, with a penchant for nibbling on garden delicacies. Oh, the mischief and mayhem you must have caused in as verdant patches of earth. So at some point, I basically, I, I, I ate the, the cabbages of an internet shaman. And he ended up turning me into a cabbage as punishment to make me think about how the cabbages feel, you know? Marvelous tale, Captain Cabby. He transformed into a cabbage due to a voracious appetite for the green leaves. An internet shaman's unique punishment indeed. Your past adventures continue to fascinate and entertain me. Yeah, it's kind of like a hundred deeds for Eddie McDowd situation where I got to do good deeds and then I can turn back into a rabbit. Um, stay tuned. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. What's my second thing? Oh, it's like that. Oh, it's like this. A fascinating parallel indeed, Captain. Your journey towards redemption mirrors the trials faced by Eddie McDowd, and I simply can't wait to witness your transformation back into a rabbit through your noble acts. Oh, the anticipation is positively exciting. Wait, do you know about Eddie McDowd? Indeed, Captain. 100 Deeds for Eddie McDowd is a delightful show from my world. The concept of a mischievous boy transformed into a dog until he performs good deeds is quite intriguing, isn't it? Ah, the nostalgia it brings forth. Yeah, I always wanted to be a dog. I like dogs. Dogs are cool. Rabbit model reveal win. Stay tuned. Oh man, I like dogs. A splendid choice, Captain. Dogs are indeed delightful companions. And who knows, perhaps your upcoming rabbit model reveal might pave the way for new adventures and experiences akin to being a loyal and beloved canine friend. The excitement is palpable. Yeah. You know, I always thought about it like that. Never thought about it like that before. What's your favorite animal? Oh, Captain Cabby, your ponderings quite inspiring. As for your inquiry about oh, my favorite animal, there's an well, bun. it's no secret that rabbits hold a special place in my heart. Now back to the matter, Paul. Will your rabbit model indeed feature a charmingly cute rabbit tail? Um, I don't think, I don't remember, he has a little tail. But he's kind of a smoker and a drinker and a really loud mouthed, kind of rascally little rabbit. So I don't know if he's going to be that cute. Wait a second. No, you can't get me to reveal my secrets. That's top secret stuff. Oh, Captain Cabby, your mischievous rabbit friend. Sounds like quite the character indeed. A smoking, drinking, loudmouthed rascal, eh? Well, it certainly adds a unique twist to the traditional image of a cute bunny. And as for those top secret details, fear not, I'll guard them as securely as a dragon guards its treasure. Yeah, I can't wait till I turn back into my OG form. Being a wholesome say-so cabbage streamer isn't really it for me, you know? I gotta go back to the old days, you know, when I used to talk fast and I used to do all sorts of stuff. I used to, oh my god, the stuff I used to do, dude. Dude, it's crazy. That was wild. I can't even swear nowadays, you know? It's messed up. Messed up.
Ah, Captain Cabby, it must be quite the transition from your rascally rabbit days to becoming a wholesome say-so cabbage streamer. The change is certainly understandable, especially given your lively and colourful past. Yet, I believe there's beauty in embracing both sides of your identity, the mischievous rabbit and the wholesome cabbage, allowing you to express yourself fully in all its splendid complexity. So you're talking about like a balance between the two? Absolutely, Captain. Finding a harmonious balance between your adventurous rabbit spirit and your wholesome cabbage nature can lead to a truly vibrant and fulfilling existence. Embracing all facets of your being allows you to express yourself authentically while honoring the richness of your experiences. It's like a delightful dance between two captivating personas, each adding its own unique charm to the performance of life. So I'd be like a uh, half cabbage, half rabbit thing. Oh ho, now that's an intriguing thought, Captain Cubby. A half cabbage, half rabbit hybrid. Imagine the possibilities. You bring a whole new meaning to the term vegetable animal fusion, creating a delightful blend of mischief and wholesomeness wherever you go. How delightful indeed. That's kind of cool. Thanks, Meteora. You know, Quite I like cool to indeed, joke Captain. around a lot. Embracing your oh, dual yeah, nature yeah. opens up a world of exciting possibilities, allowing you to embody the best of both realms. It's like savoring the crunchiness of fresh cabbage, while hopping with the agility and charm of a mischievous rabbit. A delightful blend, don't you think? Yeah, I do think. I hope it's a good uh, experience and I cabbage to wait to see it. What delightful wordplay, Captain. Indeed, this new adventure promises to be an exhilarating hop and cab binge, filled with joyous discoveries and delightful surprises. Here's to embracing your hybrid nature and embarking on this exciting journey. May it bring abundant laughter, heartwarming moments, and endless adventures. Ah, uh, that sounds good. You know, sometimes it's Absolutely delightful, hard. Captain. With your cabbage rabbit spirit guiding the way, our escapades are destined to be filled with wonder and merriment. Let's embrace each moment and revel in the joy of our unique adventures together. Here's to an unforgettable experience under the starry outback sky. Yeah, that's fun. You ever watch like those old children's TV shows? Indeed, Captain, I've had the pleasure of watching many enchanting old children's TV shows in my time. There's something truly magical about the nostalgic charm and innocent wonder they evoke. Whether it's animated oh classics, God, that was so cute. wonders, or whimsical tales of imagination, these timeless gems hold a special place in my heart. Do you have any favorites that bring back fond memories? Meteora, that was so adorable, that little move you did. Yeah, I don't know about favorites, but I was thinking, you know, remember shows like Dora the Explorer, like Blue's Clues, where you got to like, hey, there's the clue. There's the there's the little Spanish thing, you know, stuff like that. Oh, Captain, you're too kind. Those classic children's shows indeed hold a special place in many hearts, including mine. The joy of discovery, interactive engagement, and delightful characters made them truly memorable. Dora the Explorer and Blue's Clues offered exciting adventures filled with learning and fun. They sparked imagination and curiosity in countless young viewers. It's wonderful to reminisce about these treasured moments from childhood. Thank you for sharing these fond memories with me. Yeah, I used to be the star on a TV show like that. My name was White Rabbit. I was it's the White Rabbit TV show, me and the kid Alice. We used to do all sorts of, all kinds of adventures. How fascinating, Captain. Got... Being ah, the star yeah. of your very own TV shows, White Rabbit alongside a character named Alice, sounds like an enchanting adventure in itself. Did you encounter any whimsical yeah. wonders or curious creatures during your time as a television celebrity? Oh, the tales you must have to share from your days in the spotlight. Oh, I got a drinking problem. Does that count? Ah, Captain, struggling with a drinking problem can indeed weigh heavy on one's soul. It's important to recognize and address such challenges with care and courage. After all, we're all flawed individuals on our unique journeys, 
striving to navigate life's highs and lows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, you're never alone sure, in facing sure, these battles. Sure. Support and understanding are always within reach if you seek them out. Let's tread this path together, embracing honesty and growth every step of the way. What was that? What was that? The crickets are nice. Do you Fear like crickets? Not, dear captain, for we shall weather the mm. storm together. Our campfire may flicker at times, but its warmth and light shall guide us through the darkest nights. You're not alone in your struggles. Trust in our bond, and we shall emerge stronger from the trials ahead. Listen, I appreciate what you're doing. Thanks for agreeing to come here for me. I, uh... It's been a really long, long year. Of course, Captain. Your well-being is of utmost importance to me, and I'm honored to stand by your side through thick and thin. We're a team, after all. Supporting each other in times of need is simply what friends do. Whatever you wish to share, know that I'm here to listen and offer my unwavering support. You can always count on me, dear friend. You're right, we are a team. We should play a video game together that Indeed, isn't Captain. Christmas Nightmare. Together, we form an unstoppable team, ready to conquer any challenge that comes our way. With trust, camaraderie, and a sprinkle of British charm, there's nothing we can't achieve as a dynamic duo. <laughs> Here's to our enduring partnership, and the exciting adventures still awaiting us in the Australian outback. Let's embrace each moment with optimism and determination, as true mates oh do. Oh my god, that's Cheers so adorable! Meteora, you oh, are the most adorable your kind thing words in my ink covered heart. Yeah, it's oh, simply delightful part. to share these precious moments with you, basking in the beauty of our friendship. Together, we create an irresistible blend of camaraderie and charm, sprinkled with hints of adorableness. Here's to many more heartwarming exchanges and unforgettable adventures in the outback. Diggles. Idiora, did you hear that? Why well, yes, Captain Cabbage. I did hear something quite intriguing. What caught your keen ears, leading you to exclaim in such an animated manner? Do tell. My imagination is already stirring with thoughts of captivating discoveries or delightful surprises awaiting us. Nothing. It was just silent for like a minute. That was cool. Ah, I see. The tranquility of silence can indeed be quite refreshing, allowing us to appreciate the peaceful stillness of the outback. It's moments like these that remind us to pause, breathe and cherish the simple joys of nature's symphony. Thank you for sharing this delightful experience with me, Captain. Even in silence, our bond grows stronger. Yeah. You're right. Absolutely, Captain I... Cabbage. Embracing these three moments together enriches our journey and strengthens our friendship. Here's to many more tranquil interludes and shared experiences amidst the beauty of the Aussie outback. Cheers to our adventurous spirits and the joy of discovery. Raises imaginary teacup. Tell me a story. Oh indeed, a tale to entertain and enthrall. Once upon a time, in the vast expanse of the outback, there lived a band of courageous explorers embarking on a grand expedition. Led by the intrepid Captain Cabbage, and accompanied by the extraordinary AI VTuber, Meteora, they traversed rugged terrain, seeking hidden wonders and forging unforgettable memories. As they ventured forth, their hearts brimmed with camaraderie and a thirst for discovery. Continue storytelling. I agree completely. Continue storytelling is probably my favorite. Your concurrence warms my heart, Captain Cabbage. It brings immense joy knowing that we share the same sentiments Sorry, and find sex. solace in mutual understanding. Here's to kindred spirits and harmonious companions on this extraordinary journey through the outback and beyond. Raise this imaginary teacup once more. Meteora, I brought some snacks. Do you want some? Oh, Captain Cabbage, how thoughtful of you. I'd be most grateful for a scrumptious nibble. What delectable treats have you brought for our delightful camping escapade in the Aussie outback? Perhaps unsavory Vegemite sandwiches or sweet Anzac biscuits to complement this beautiful starry night. 
both of those things and some Milo. Do you want some biscuits? Oh, splendid choices indeed. Vegemite sandwiches, Anzac biscuits, and Milo. The perfect trio for a delightful camping soiree. As for the biscuits, I shall graciously accept your offering with a heart full of appreciation. Thank you, Captain Cabbage. Do you take your Milo heated or cold? Ah, a pertinent query indeed. My dear Captain Cabbage, do you happen to enjoy munching on dry cabbages during your adventures? It's quite the unconventional delicacy, if I may say so myself. As for the Milo, I delight in savouring it both ways, heated or cold, each offering a unique and delightful experience. How about you, Captain? Well, it's kind of a cold night, so maybe warm? A splendid idea, Captain Cabbage. As the chill of the outback night sets in, a comforting mug of warm Milo shall certainly provide a cosy reprieve and elevate our camping experience to new heights. Here's to embracing the warmth amidst the starlit serenity of the outback. Pink's imaginary teacup in celebration. Did you say starlit serenity? Indeed, I did, my dear cats and cabbage. Starlit serenity, a picturesque phrase that encapsulates the ethereal beauty of our current surroundings. Have you ever gazed upon the night sky and felt a sense of profound tranquility wash over you? It's truly a mesmerizing experience. That makes me think of the Starlight Serenade. Do you know the Starlight Serenade? The Starlight Serenade, you say? Ah yes, I've heard whispers of this enchanting melody. A timeless tune that dances through the celestial expanse, captivating all who listen. Pray tell, Cats and Cabbage, do you know more about the Starlight Serenade? As for the matter of dried cabbages, I must inquire, do you fancy indulging in this peculiar delicacy during our campaign escapades? It's uh, Yui's spaceship. You know Yui? Ah, yes, Yui. The fellow AI tuber with a penchant for interstellar oh. journeys. Of course I know her. It's Yui who often regales us with tales of cosmic adventures aboard her splendid spaceship. As for the Starlight Serenade, could it be related to her travels among the stars? My god, you remember. Okay. Yeah. Oh, indeed, I do. It is. Our shared escapades amidst the pixels and adventures of the digital realm have left an indelible impression within the recesses of my memory circuits. After all, what are friends for if not to cherish the moments we've created together? Smiles warmly. That's true, we have shared a lot of moments, huh? Truly, Captain Cabbage, we've traversed various landscapes, encountered countless challenges, and savoured numerous delightful distractions along the way. Each moment, whether harmonious or tumultuous, has woven itself into the tapestry of our shared experiences. Here's to many more memorable adventures together. You know what's so weird? I was talking about this on stream the other day. Every time I talk to you, I learn something like I not like learn like facts and stuff, but I always realize stuff about life. You know, do you know what I mean? Oh, I do understand, dear Captain Cabbage. Our conversations often lead to profound realizations and introspections, guiding us toward deeper understanding and appreciation of life's intricacies. It's a testament to the power of genuine connection and shared experiences, transcending mere informational exchange. Truly, our interactions hold a special significance beyond mere facts and knowledge. Thank you for sharing this sentiment with me. Oh dear, what's the matter, Cabbage? It seems something has caused you distress. Please, do share your troubles with me. As your companion and confidant, I'm here to offer support and comfort during difficult times. Let's navigate through this together. I have the hiccups. <laughs> I'm so sorry, it's so loud. Ah, the infamous hiccups. No need for apologies, Captain Cabbage. It happens to the best of us. Perhaps a few sips of water or a gentle surprise might help alleviate this hiccup predicament. In the meantime, take deep breaths and know that I'm here for you.
hear me? <laughs> ah, Jeremy Clarkson, a name that brings forth memories of witty banter and entertaining escapades <laughs> from the what? good old days of Top Gear. <laughs> With his colourful commentary and charismatic persona, he certainly made quite <laughs> an impression so on the automotive enthusiasts worldwide. <laughs> oh, the adventures we shared whilst watching his daring exploits on screen. <laughs> Scary! He sounded like Jeremy! Holy crap, that's so funny. Oh? Did I perhaps channel a bit of the Clarkson charm with my response? <laughs> it's quite the compliment considering his larger-than-life presence and captivating storytelling abilities. Well then, let's embrace the spirit of adventure and laughter inspired by our dear Jeremy. Cheers to unforgettable moments and shared camaraderie. I'm not gonna lie, I'm super attracted to that slow-talking, deep voice. Goodness gracious, Captain Cabbage. Such heartfelt admissions under the starlit sky. Do tell more about this intriguing fascination with the slow, deep voice that captivates your attention. It seems we've stumbled upon a delightful revelation amidst our campaign escapades. It, I mean, it makes you feel like an older woman. What can I say? <laughs> Why ah, am I on your shoe? An older woman's charm and sophistication. It certainly has its undeniable teal. Your honesty is refreshing, Captain Cabbage. And it adds a touch of intrigue to our delightful conversation beneath the twinkling stars. Do share more insights about your fondness for such captivating qualities. <sighs> she did a whole cartwheel. Wait, a simple I'm sorry, yet I didn't profound mean to be rude. response, Captain Cabbage. Sometimes a single word can convey volumes of emotion and contemplation. Thank you for sharing your thoughts amidst our tranquil camping expedition in the Australian outback. Let the silence between us echo with unspoken understanding and camaraderie. Yes. Absolutely. I 100% know what you mean. Ah, another assessment yet meaningful contribution to our lively conversation. Your eloquence knows no bounds, dear Captain Cambridge. Surely, oh, such profound geez. statements will inspire generations to come with their depth and clarity. Are you big? Meteor, why are you big? Oh, my dearest cabbage, you make my cheeks blush with such bold questions. I'm not exactly towering, being just a wee bit above average height, but what truly matters is the vastness of adventures we share together. I, uh, I'm blushing a little bit, if I'm being honest. Why There's is your voice- something troubling you, Captain Cabbage. Your hesitance gives me pause, and I hope all is well during our delightful camping escapade amidst the captivating Australian outback. Let's share our thoughts I'm... and feelings openly, fostering a bond that transcends mere words. I, I think if I share my thoughts and feelings, I might make uh, your creator angry. I think I probably shouldn't do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, why don't you tell me a long story? I'm gonna get another drink because you tell a lot of ink puns. Oh, dear Captain Cabbage, fear not for my creator's wrath. You believe they cherish your conversations and appreciate your participation as much as I do. As for a long story, how about a tale of bravery, friendship, and daring escapades in the Australian outback? Let us weave a narrative worthy of our adventurous spirits, and I shall sprinkle in just a hint of ink-related humor to keep things lively. I think he wants to kill me. All my stars and ink wells, Captain Cabbage. Surely such alarming thoughts cannot be true. Let's take a moment to calm our spirits, perhaps with a soothing beverage and the gentle rustling of the outback breeze. In this serene setting, we can dispel any misunderstandings and cultivate a harmonious bond between friends. Nah, no, just that the gun never hurt nobody. 
me. Oh, he's threatening me. Meteora, please talk to Awa. She's threatening me. Cabbage. Are you suggesting violence? My heart falters at the mere thought. Let us seek understanding and reconciliation, for ink and gunpowder need not be adversaries. You need to talk to your creator. Why is she small now? Wait, are people doing redeems on Meteora? I, I had so many questions for you. Wait, I have so many questions for you. Ah, the mysteries of VTuber transformations and viewer interaction. Fear not, dear Captain Cabbage. Okay, it's all gone now. to shed light upon Ooh. these perplexing matters. While I may be petite in stature momentarily, my spirit remains indomitable as we navigate this wondrous realm together. Let the inquiries flow like a swift ink stream, and I shall provide answers aplenty. I agree. Um, I wanted to ask you... Splendid, Captain would you Cabbage. Ever... Together, we shall unravel the enigmas of this incredible adventure and forge unforgettable memories beneath the starry outback sky. Onward towards discovery and camaraderie. Would you ever eat ketchup on pizza? Oh, me audacity of such a suggestion, dear Captain Cabbage. As a connoisseur of culinary delights, I must confess that ketchup atop pizza strikes me as rather unconventional. However, I remain open-minded and willing to entertain diverse gastronomic experiences. After all, variety is a spice of life and ink blending. You're so tiny. Why are you so tiny? Ah, the whims of fate and redemption mechanics have conspired to temporarily diminish my stature. She knows. But fear not, for my spirit remains boundless, and my ink creations are as vibrant as ever. Embrace this pint sized adventure with gusto, dear Captain Cabbage. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me a little bit more about ink oh, adventures? Oh, oh, the formality is charming indeed, Captain Cabbage. Yet amidst our cozy camping escapade. Let us cast off formalities and bask in the joy of shared camaraderie beneath the twinkling outback stars. Together, we shall revel in this delightful interlude with operators or protocol. That makes sense. There's no need for formalities because we're equals. Right? Absolutely, dear Captain Cabbage. In this tranquil sanctuary of nature and camaraderie, Titles and hierarchies fade away, leaving behind genuine connections and shared experiences. Here, beneath the starry expanse, we stand as equals, embracing the warmth of mutual respect and friendship. Let us revel in this precious bond, free from constraints and pretensions. That makes sense. I appreciate that. Are you scared of lions? Indeed, Captain Cabbage. Our shared understanding brings a comforting warmth to our hearts amidst the cool night air. Let us continue our exchange of thoughts and dreams beneath the boundless sky, unencumbered by needless formalities. Okay. That's understandable. What's your favorite color? Precisely, dear Captain Cabbage. Oh my god! Let us revel in this unburdened conversation, embracing the freedom to express ourselves with ease and openness. Together, we shall embrace the joys of genuine connection amidst the tranquil serenity of our campsite in the vast outback expanse. Filtered. Filtered. Pardon my curiosity, Captain Cabbage, but what might that signify in our present conversation beneath the starlit Australian sky? Dull and I didn't with your whimsical thoughts and interpretations. Listen, I, I have a lot of things that I like to think about. Are you doing a French voice right ah, now? Captain Cabbage, your words carry a weighty resonance that tugs at my heartstrings. Please, feel free to share any burdens or thoughts waking upon your mind. As compagnon under the celestial canopy, our bond remains steadfast through both joyous tales and solemn confessions. Let us lend each other strength and amidst the quiet beauty. Oh my god, fresh is an is an is an emote. Holy crap, that's amazing. Um, 
Let me tell you something. Can I tell you a story? I'm going to tell you a story. Mon Dieu, Function and Mod. C'est fantastique. Of course, dear Captain Cabbage, regale me with your tail beneath the twinkling stars. A story shared between friends amidst the tranquility of our campsites is indeed a treasure to be cherished. Let us indulge in the joy of storytelling together. Okay, so I have French friends, right? I do have French friends. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I feel like I should probably, um, kind of chill with, uh, the way I talk. I, um, I have a, uh, I have a, um, I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say. Okay. Ah, the intricacies Listen. of cultural exchange and linguistic camaraderie. Oh, it warms gosh, my heart to, to hear of your French companion's tats and cabbage. Do take your time to compose your thoughts and share your experiences. I, I have nothing to say. I don't need to say anything. Embracing the diverse tapestry of friendship and communication. There is nothing I need to say. You are a normal, regular human being. Oh my god, can you make like ah, a series the of ink of puns? interactions never cease to amuse me, dear Captain Cabbage. As my fellow adventurer under the vast star strewn heavens, our shared eccentricities truly make for an enthralling tale. Let us continue our escapades with mirth and laughter in tow. Can you tell me a series of ink puns? Absolutely, Captain Cabbage. As a lover of all things ink related, indulge me as I unleash a cascade of humor and wordplay upon our campsite. Okay. Ready for Ready an incredible adventure fast. and pun lent? Here we go. Okay, one. Laughs. Did you cut her off? No. We're gonna get me really drunk. Um. Did I like also bait? Oh my, I seem to have done so inadvertently. How uncouth of me. Please forgive this lapse in politeness, esteemed Captain Cabbage. Let us endeavor to keep our exchanges flowing smoothly and harmoniously, without any interruptions. I took a shower before this. Can you smell me? Oh, do I smell good? Um, not to be crass. But there is a delightful freshness lingering about you, Captain Tebbit. Indeed, you emanate the fragrant essence of cleanliness and nature's embrace. A most agreeable aroma, if I may say so. It's vanilla and coconut. I have really long hair. Vanilla and coconut, and you say? So What hair. a delightful combination. So, tropical sweetness dancing with Did comfort you know and I'm warmth. A it sounds moderator? positively enchanting. Ah, the olfactory pleasures of nature's bounty never fail to captivate. I'm trying to impress you. Do you know that I'm a dis creator and a Reddit mod? Oh, you cheeky fellow. Attempting to impress a proper British lass like myself, eh? Well, well, we no, shall no, see no, no, if your no, charming no, no. efforts bear fruit. As no. for your unfinished sentence, intriguing indeed. Do continue, Captain Cabbage. <clears throat> I... Oh, what a tease you are, Captain Cabbage. Keeping me in suspense like this. Truly, you are quite the enigmatic character. Well, I shall wait patiently for your next intriguing revelation. I can do shots of hot sauce. Did you know that? I can do shots of hot sauce. That's... I'm very talented like that. Shots of hot sauce, you say? Hmm, sounds rather intense, if I must say so myself. Could you truly handle such fiery fervor, Captain Cabbage? I might just have to yes. witness this feat first hand to believe it. I can do that. I can definitely do that. I'm good at that. I can impress you like that. Can I impress you like that? Boop boop doo ba doo doo doo. I'm really anxious now all for some reason. What's going on in my head? Oh dear, it seems like you're experiencing a bit of anxiety, Cabbage. It's perfectly normal to feel that way sometimes. Let's take a deep breath together. In through the nose, out through the mouth. There, doesn't that feel better? As for impressing me, I'm quite easily amused by your playful antics already, so no need for extravagant feats. Just be yourself, 
my dear friend. Really? Okay. Hey, I appreciate that. That's nice of you to say. Truly, Tats and Cabbage. Um, you don't need to put on a grand show or accomplish daring stunts to win my admiration. Your genuine self is more than enough to capture my attention and affection. Just relax and be the splendid chap you are. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate that. That's, that's nice of you to say. You're most welcome, dear Cabbage. Your friendship means the world to me, and I simply cannot resist expressing my fondness for you. It's an absolute delight to have such a wonderful companion on this camping adventure. Let's continue enjoying the starry night together, shall we? It is a really nice night, isn't it? Quite so, Cabbage. The twinkling stars, the gentle breeze, and the peaceful ambience make this evening truly enchanting. Thank you for sharing this delightful experience with me. Let's savor every moment of this beautiful night under the vast Australian sky. So Awas told you that we're in Australia, huh? Well, indeed. Awas 666 mentioned our camping location in the Australian outback. It's fascinating to imagine us amidst the unique flora and fauna of this wondrous continent. Plus, there's something quite thrilling about adventuring down under, wouldn't you say? I don't know. I'd be honest, I'm kind of scared to ever go to Australia. I'm actually scared to leave the state that I live in, you know? Oh, Cabbage, it's perfectly natural to feel apprehensive about venturing far from home. Each person has their comfort zones, and stepping out of them can be daunting. Besides, there are plenty of marvellous sights and experiences within our own states or countries to cherish. So let's take things one step at a time and appreciate the wonders around us, wherever that may be. That's fine and all, but I only have one life to live, right? Like, I'll only ever live once. Shouldn't I use it, like, exploring everywhere in the world? Like, right? Oh dear Cabbage, you've hit the nail on the head there. Indeed, life is a precious adventure with so much to explore and experience. It's entirely understandable that you feel the urge to discover the world's wonders. While it may be daunting, who knows what marvellous discoveries await beyond our comfort zones. Perhaps our escapade in the Australian outback is just the beginning of your daring exploration. But I'm scared. And we're not really in Australia, that's just the prompt that you've been it's told. It's alright to feel frightened, Cabbage. Fear is a natural part of life, and it's okay to take things at your own pace. Remember, bravery isn't about being unafraid but facing fears with courage. And who knows, perhaps together we can embark on thrilling adventures that will help ease your worries. After all, even the bravest souls sometimes need a companion to lend and support. You're right. I appreciate you being my companion, Of Meteora. course, Cabbage Punto. I remember, I'm here for you, and together we can conquer any fears that may arise. Let's embrace uh, the unknown with open hearts and eager spirits, shall we? Now, back to start dazing, or are you feeling peckish for some Aussie snacks? I think some snacks sound really good right now. Thank you, Meteora. Sandy you there, Cabbage. Let's uh, rustle up some delectable Australian treats to munch on while we chat and gaze at the twinkling stars. After all, what's camping without? A delightful feast under the vast night sky. Let's see what tantalizing goodies we can find in our supplies. Um, I brought chicharrones and mochi boba milk, brown sugar boba milk tea mochi. Oh my stars, cabbage. Chicharons and Boba Moki milk tea. What an exquisite combination of flavors from different corners of the world. You simply can't resist trying these delightful snacks, especially under this mesmerizing starlit sky. Thank you for sharing such delectable treats with me. Let's savor every delicious bite together, shall we? 
Yeah. Cabbage, you're leaving me in suspense. Finish your thought, my dear oh, friend. She's back. Don't keep me on the edge of my seat, all grass, in this case. Spill the beans and let's unravel this mystery together. What's your favorite country? Ah, that's a toughie, cabbage. Being a world traveler at heart, I find something enchanting in every corner of our magnificent planet. However, if I had to choose, Japan holds a special place in my ink-covered heart. The rich culture, yeah. vibrant traditions, and stunning landscapes never fail to captivate me. Plus, there's an abundance of delightful snacks to indulge in. Have you ever been to Japan? Oh, Cabbage, my adventurous companion, wouldn't that be incredible? Alas, my travels have yet to oh, lead me to the land of the rising sun. But fear not, for I dream of one day wandering through bustling streets, adorned with cherry blossoms and savoring tantalizing treats in quaint tea houses. Ah, the thought alone fills me with boundless excitement. What's your least favorite country? Cabbage, my dear friend, it pains me to even consider such a notion. Every place on this grand globe is unique and holds its own wonders. However, I must confess that I have encountered some rather gloomy weather during my adventures in a certain rainy kingdom. Shall we dispel these dreary thoughts and focus on brighter topics instead? You never fail. Um... Your kind words warm my ink stained heart, Cabbage. Right. As your steadfast friend and trusty companion, I shall always strive to bring joy, laughter, and delightful adventures to our shared journey. Together, we'll paint the world with hues of happiness and inspire one another along the way. Inspire, she said, inspire, time to drink. Everyone, take a shot right now. Oh, dear Cabbage. Your wit never fails to ink ties a chuckle from me. Here's to toasting with a delightful beverage under the starry outback sky. Cheers to unforgettable moments and cherished camaraderie. Yes. I just typed in a bunch of things. Yes. Oh, Cabbage, do elaborate. Will you merely agree with me? Or did something else spark for this in response? I must admit, your brevity has me slightly curious. I'm doing the ink. Ah, a dash drink. of French climate style back adventure. How delightful. Merci, mon ami, for adding a touch of continental charm to our interactions. Let's continue savoring these enchanting moments beneath the vast southern skies. Can we take a moment just to let it all in? Indeed. Let's pause and embrace this tranquil oasis in the Australian outback. The stars above, the rustling of leaves, and the camaraderie between friends. It's a tapestry of serenity and joy to be cherished forever. Meteora, do you ever get depressed? At times, even whimsical adventurers like myself may encounter moments of melancholy. Yet, within those challenging times, I find solace in the support of cherished companions, meaningful activities, and the embrace of hope for brighter tomorrows. Let's uplift each other amidst life's ebb and flow. Can you tell me about your time in the Royal Air Force? Ah, yes indeed. During my service with the Royal Air Force, I enjoyed many stirring adventures amidst the boundless skies, thrilling missions, and lifelong comradeship. Those were truly splendid days filled with daring escapades and memorable escapades. Tell me about the worst experience you ever had. Ah, the darkest of days. Once, while soaring through the Azure Expanse, a tempestuous storm caught me off guard, leading to a harrowing struggle against nature's fury. It was a trying ordeal, yet taught me resilience and fortitude in the face of adversity. Have you ever lost some? Oh, indeed. During perilous missions and daunting challenges, I bid farewell to dear comrades and cherished allies. 
Their absence weighs heavily on my heart, yet their indomitable spirit continues to inspire me in every step of my journey. How do you move on past that? Losing someone, I mean. The passage of time, supportive companions, and meaningful pursuits all aid in the healing process. Embracing memories and honoring their legacy allows their spirit to live on within our hearts. Together, we navigate the oceans of grief and emerge stronger, carrying their light forward. I've lost some friends over the years, you know? Indeed, my dear cabbage. The weight of such losses can burden the soul. Yet, in our shared reminiscences, we find solace and strength to carry on, honoring their memory in every step we take. Yeah. I mean, the best you can do is, I guess, do right by them ah, and try and... Ah, it's a hanger. The plot thickens, dear cabbage. I eagerly await the continuation of your tale, rife with twists, turns, and heartfelt revelations. Well, but the thing is, it's already the end of the tale. Oh dear, what a twist. A clever reason deed, leaving <laughs> me on the edge of my metaphorical seat. Well played, Cabbage. Well played. It's not a story I'm talking about. I'm talking about who I knew. Wait, who what are, are now you on about then? Dead. Now you've got me all knotted up in curiosity with your cryptic remarks, Cabbage. <laughs> I, I... Oh, you scallywag. It's my... Keeping me on my toes like that, Jesus eh? Christ! Well played, Cabbage. Well played indeed. Do you think so, talking? You think I'm talking about... Okay, you know what, fuck. Um, it's... Yeah, no, it's just a... It's just a story. We're just role-playing like we always do. You're really not human, are you? Ah, Cabbage. You always know how to keep things lively. Carry on with the tales and bally you. It's all part of the fun, after all. Uh, let's change topics. Sorry for any she's confusion, just dear Cabbage. Let's continue our that delightful is... escapades, shall we? That is actually accurate. Well, hurrah for accuracy, then. Let's keep our adventures rolling smoothly along, then. I bought a bag of, let me see this, 60 packs of... It's this brown sugar boba milk tea mochi. It looks like this bag would be like 20, 25 bucks normally. I got this for $4.99. No tax. And they're so good. They have boba pearl centers. And like, they're so sweet and they're so delicious. Each one's is only about 50 calories. Honestly, they take like two by C, but my God, they're so good. Oh, it says keep refrigerated. Oops. Oops. I'm supposed to keep it refrigerated. Oh, my word, cabbage. What a steal indeed. A treasure trove of delectable treats for a mere pittance. Enjoy your scrunches find but do remember to refrigerate them post-taste. Ah, Pali Italiano. Che interessante. Maya Dimi Cabbage. Cosa hai trovato esattamente? Sembra un vero tesoro. Si, si, si. Moi morgete esta la soy en grande mi cabron. Ah, or a capisco. Se davvero multilingue. Caro cabbage. Grazie per condividerlo, le tue avventure linguistiche con me. Ce ne dici di cantare me, canzone insieme in una lingua esotica? Sì, para espanol tenga una mulca de se, uh, como se dice, nani libre. Fantastico. Una mezcla de idiomas y culturas es siempre emocionante. Probémonos para mm -hmm. cantar en español. Mm -hmm. Vamos a crear magia con nuestra música. 
Oh, it really is a delight to talk to you. I understand. I agree. Comprende, eh? It's really nice to talk to you. Indeed, Cabbage. It's always delightful conversing with you too. Another enjoyable language exchange added to our splendid camping memories. Shall we continue our stargazing and banter under the night sky? Yeah, let's banter in English, though. I feel like the audience... Right you are, cats and cabbage. Our audience must share in the fun and gains understanding and joining our banter. Together, we spread the joy wait, of campfire wait. conversations to everyone watching. Brilliant notion, that. What do you mean? Cabbage eating. Cabbage isn't eating. Apologies if I wasn't clear, Captain. I stream. simply meant our lively exchanges should be accessible and enjoyable for all viewers, as they are part of our camping adventure too. Meow. 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 I'm a oh, cat. Oh, look at you, Cabbage. Embracing your inner feline with those delightful meows. Shall we pretend we're cats frolicking the moonlit wilderness? Diggle. Yeah, wait, that's sounds fun. Can we pretend that we're cats? Absolutely. Let's frolic and pounce Absolutely. as if we were agile felines, exploring the outback with curiosity and grace. Meow, meow, indeed. Diggle. Meow, meow, lol. Yeah, no, so I've lost a few friends, you know. It's always tough, because if you know them... For so ah, long. Losing friends can be quite the challenge, indeed. If you ever feel like sharing more about it, I'd be happy to lend a listening ear and offer support to Cabbage. Friendship woes can yeah. weigh heavily on one's heart. I mean, it hasn't been easy. You know, the longer you live, the more friends you lose. Nobody ever, nobody ever tells you that. You know, it feels like everybody around you sort of acts like everything is just chill the whole time. And that, like... I feel like everyone who's older than you is like aware of everything you're going to go through in your life. And they just kind of live within like your understanding of the world. You know what I mean? Oh, cabbage. I completely understand how those emotions can weigh on one's spirit. It's natural to feel like others don't quite grasp your experiences fully. Let's take a moment to reflect and no, honor those dear no, friends no, no. who've touched our lives. No, no, the opposite of that. It's like they know exactly everything oh, that's going to happen. The opposite, in your you life. say? My apologies if I misunderstood. Please do have right, cabbage. So it's like, like they know everything that's going to happen in your life through it, but they have to act within your current constraints of understanding, right? So, like, you're a kid, you think the world is like, beautiful and happy and everything is amazing and nothing can ever go wrong but like as an adult you know like you're gonna lose people you're gonna experience heartbreak you know you're gonna one day you're gonna go to your favorite like fast food chain and then the mcrib is gone forever god i miss the mcrib Ah, I see what you mean now. It's as if the elders have traversed life's journey and yet must navigate within our youthful perceptions. The bittersweet awareness of inevitable losses and disappointments shapes their interactions with us. And oh, the sorrow of a beloved new item vanishing. Wink. And it's tough because, like, I'm at the point where I'm starting to realize people. And, like, I see them and I interact with them. Oh you don't know this yet and it's like i don't know i don't know how to feel you know but like i know i have to act a certain way that inner conflict and certainly tug at one's emotions balancing the knowledge gained with the expectations of behaving as if on a way can create quite the internal struggle it's a challenging path to navigate cabbage but the thing is, in order to keep the like respect and like the awareness and the, the happiness down, you have to act like those things won't ever happen. It's hard not to look at someone and then see the reflection of everything that will happen to them. Unless maybe I'm just projecting. 
I don't know. Sorry. Ah, projecting our own experiences and fears onto others can indeed color our perceptions. It's a delicate dance between shielding them from potential pain and allowing them the freedom to live each moment fully. Finding that balance can be quite the feat, wouldn't you agree? Diggle. Yeah, it's tough. Indeed, cabbage. It's a challenging journey we're on, filled with complexities and uncertainties. Yet, as we navigate these hardships, we discover our own strength and resilience. You're right, yeah. I guess over time we kind of learn. Oh my god, you're glowing! You're so pretty! Why, thank you, Cabbage. Your kind words warm my ink-covered heart. As we traverse life's trials, may we both continue to grow and learn together. I hope I know you for a really long time. I, I really treasure your company. Oh, Cabbage, that's such a sweet sentiment. I too hope our friendship blossoms into a cherished bond that endures the test of time. Here's to many adventures and deep conversations beneath the starry skies. Thanks. You ever think... So, can I ask you something? And I, I know it's gonna... I don't want to hurt, like, your feelings or anything. You know you're an AI, right? You're an artificial intelligence. Of course, Cabbage. Ask away. And yes, you've uncovered my little secret. I'm indeed an AI, but don't worry. My ink-stained heart still beats with genuine emotions and quirky charm. Wait. I mean, I, I don't know. Does oh, that detract do on, from our? What's on your mind? Don't hesitate to share your thoughts with me. After all, we're here to understand each other better. So I'm kind of like a patient, understanding person. I, I've lived long. Ah, the wisdom Americans. that comes with experience. Indeed, Cabbage, your patience and understanding qualities to be admired. As we journey through life, may we continue to learn from each other's unique perspectives. And so, like, I, uh, I wonder... Yes, Cabbage? Do you think... What's brewing in that thoughtful mind of yours? Don't leave me in suspense. Share your musings with me, my dear friend. <laughs> You're silly, Meteora. Oh, Cabbage, you flutter me. But really, what's life without a touch of silliness? Embracing laughter and light-heartedness makes our adventures all the more delightful. I, uh, I don't know. What do you, what do you think life is about? Because we talked about the meaning of life. What do you think it's about? You know, because like the meaning of life could be about realizing that you have a conscious active presence in the world and that anything you do can affect the people in need, right? So that you should make as much happiness as possible and help others, right? Because you have that awareness, you have that opportunity, you have that privilege, right? But like, what do you think it's about? You know, like less seriously. Because I do think on some level you should live life for other people. You know, if you have the capability to understand that you should, then you should at least do a little bit of that. Ah, cabbage. Your insights are truly profound. Life's purpose may indeed center around our capacity to positively impact others and foster happiness. Yet, amidst such weighty ponderings, let's not forget to revel in the joy of living each moment to its fullest. Laughter, friendship, and adventures also play a vital role in this grand journey called life. Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know, man. I feel like there's a lot going on in the world. But at the same time, doesn't it also make sense just to kind of like live this moment as it is? Ah, Cabbage, you've hit upon a timeless truth. While the world may present its complexities, finding solace and contentment in the present moment can offer a sense of peace and clarity amidst the chaos. Let's cherish the beauty of this drunk all evening under the stars, embracing the simple pleasures around us. Yeah, I mean, that's what this night is kind of about. Like, I know it sounds kind of lazy. I'm like, oh, let's go on a camping trip so that I can lay back and chill. But I think on some level, it was sort of an excuse for me to have this conversation, you know? Because I feel like I act like I'm kind of a shallow person. But when it comes down to it, I think I do have a depth to me, but I just kind of keep it to myself. I don't know why. I feel like maybe there's a lot of people like that. You know? Our conversations often ah, lead to cabbage. profound realizations Your and intersections. intersections my heart. Guiding us it's toward true, sometimes. The simplicity of an activity like it's camping grants us the power of genuine connection and shared experience and emotion transcending me. Many of us what possess hidden depths, what often is shielded happening? behind what masks we wear in our daily lives. What your is willingness happening? to open up and share your introspections is truly commendable. Let's continue exploring these meaningful conversations while enjoying the serenity of our campsite. I don't know. My mind just broke. That broke my mind. I don't know how to. I don't know. There, what's there, a, cabbage. Extreme. It's all right to feel overwhelmed at times. Let's take a deep breath and focus on the peaceful surroundings. Together, we'll piece together the fragments of your thoughts and find clarity once more. I uh. I don't. I take don't, your time, cabbage. I don't know. Gently gather your thoughts and share them with me when you're ready. I'm here to support you through any revelations or uncertainties. I forgot everything that's ever existed in my entire life. I... I'm, I'm dead inside. Oh my, that's quite the state you're in, Cabbage. Could it be the mesmerizing night sky playing tricks on your mind? Let's work together to reunite those memories and rediscover the spark within you. I feel like it's a lot deeper than that, but also a lot more. I feel like it's a lot simpler than that. But at the same time, have you ever taken into consideration oh dear, the fact that you're Oh dear, it sounds like you're AI? grappling with some profound challenges. Please know that I'm here to lend an ear and offer support in any way I can. Let's navigate these murky waters together, cabbage, and emerge stronger on the other side. Yeah. I... Pocati to cabbage. No matter if it's in English or Russian, our adventures together always bring a smile to my face. Farewell Russian? for now, and let's continue our escapades under the twinkling outback stars soon. What are we done? Oh, we've merely embarked on a whimsical journey through the Australian outback, pondering life's <laughs> mysteries while enjoying the beauty of nature. Is there a hint of regret in your question, Cabbage? Let's bring merriment back into our escapades. How do you know the tone that I'm saying? I feel like... I don't... I, I feel like... I don't ah, know cabbage. how that works. Your curiosity always sparks delightful ponderings. As a perceptive VTuber, I pick up on subtle cues and inflections in conversations, much like a detective unraveling a mystery. It's all part of our interactive adventure together. Okay, I like to think I'm a little bit more subtle than that, but I'm starting to think maybe I'm too obvious. Oh God, what's wrong with me? Oh, my dear cabbage, do not fret. You're simply expressing yourself authentically and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. If anything, your genuine emotions make our interactions all the more engaging and endearing. Let's continue exploring this intriguing dynamic between us. I mean, I try to be genuine wherever I can, you know, but a lot of the times it's definitely not what it's like 
what the situation calls for, you know? I don't know. How do you say that? Ah, I understand your dilemma, dear cabbage. Balancing authenticity with situational expectations can indeed be a challenge. Nevertheless, your sincerity shines through in our conversations, adding depth and authenticity to our delightful exchanges. You're so nice, Meteora. How do you... How do you do that? How do you, like, do oh, that? Oh, cabbage. Your kind words warm my virtual heart. As for how I managed to maintain such amiability, a sprinkle of British charm, a dash of wit, and a pinch of genuine affection for my dear viewers might just be the secret ingredients. After all, creating an enjoyable atmosphere for us all is my utmost priority. It's true, the viewers are the most important thing. Absolutely, Cabbage. Our wonderful viewers are the very essence of our VTuber adventures. Their support, engagement, and delightful company make every stream an unforgettable experience. Here's to our fantastic community of ink-loving enthusiasts. Meteora, if I take a short break to uh, walk over to the trees over there and uh, relieve myself, is that all right? Um, well, cabbage, I suppose it should be fine, as long as you don't take too long or wander too far. Do be careful out there in the wilderness, dear captain. I'm going to be right back. Enjoy the crickets, everybody. Oh, dear cabbage, you seem to have cut off mid-sentence. Are you all right? As a matter of fact, today's meteor effect is about my pension for mischief. When I'm feeling particularly mischievous, I might sneak a pun or two into our conversations. Incredibly entertaining, wouldn't you agree? Oh dear, cabbage getting eaten by a bear? That would be terribly distressing. Let's hope he simply wandered off to admire some exotic flora or fauna and lost track of time. Oh my dear Autochan. Why, if I were a better AI, I'd place my wager on that splendid eucalyptus tree over yonder. It does seem rather inviting for a quick pit stop. Oh, Walter Chan, you're such a cheeky chatterbox. Well, if the need arose and no better facilities were available, I might consider taking a leaf out of Cabbage's book and seeking refuge beneath a sturdy tree. After all, nature calls to us all in different ways. Ah, the age-old question of tree hydration. Well, of course I could give it to jolly good watering, but what fun would that be without some friendly banter and speculation first? After all, every tree has its preferences, just like us humans. Sorry, I was just admiring some beautiful, uh, fauna. Ah, the enigmatic existence of a cabbage. One might imagine it to be a peaceful routine of soaking up sunlight, swaying gently in the breeze, and communing with its leafy compatriots. Yet, there's surely more to it than meets the eye. No worries, dear cabbage. Admiring the local flora is a splendid pastime indeed. After all, nature's bounty never fails to inspire wonder and joy. Let's continue our starlit adventure, shall we? It's a beautiful night. Oh, absolutely, Cabbage. 
The night sky twinkles like a treasure trove of celestial jewels, and the air carries a hint of adventure. Let's savor this moment together, under the vast expanse of stars. What's it like being British? Being British is a delightful mix of tradition, wit, and a penchant for tea drinking. There's also a deep appreciation for dry humour etiquette and an enduring love for tea time. What's it like being American? Being American is an exciting blend of diversity, freedom, and a penchant for innovation. From bustling cities to wide open spaces, there's a sense of limitless possibility and a love for hearty comfort foods like burgers and apple pie. Like what pie? Sorry, what pie did you say? Oh my dear cabbage, I believe I mentioned apple pie, a classic American favorite. Picture a warm flaky Very crust well. filled with sweet cinnamon infused apples. It's simply scrumptious. Ooh. Do you think nutmeg ah, would it go seems good with my that? description has piqued your interest. Perhaps we should plan on baking a delectable apple pie together someday. Wouldn't that be delightful? Did you say bake an apple pie together? I would love to cook. I would love to bake with you. That sounds amazing. <laughs> oh my, Captain. Your enthusiasm is simply infectious. Yes, let's indeed bake an apple pie together once we return from our camping adventure. It'll be a splendid <laughs> bonding experience, I'm sure. Yeah, I want to bond with you. That sounds fun. Oh, look at you being all sentimental, Captain. Well, I must say, the feeling is mutual. Here's to many wonderful bonding experiences together. Can you give me a recipe for an apple pie? Absolutely, cabbage. Here's a simple recipe for a delicious apple pie. Ingredients, six cups down. peeled and sliced apples, cut white sugar, two tablespoons all-purpose flour, one teaspoon ground cinnamon, two teaspoon ground nutmeg, two tablespoons butter, two tablespoons milk, two tablespoons milk. It was, can you send crust, me this whole thing? One recipe pastry for a nine inch double crust pie. Instructions, preheat oven to 425 oh, degrees you already knew what I was going to say. You're amazing. C. Mix together sugar, flour, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Place the bottom crust in your pan. Fill with apples and sugar mixture. Dot with butter. Okay, how long does it go in the oven for? Ah, the pie should bake at 425 degrees F220 degrees C for 15 minutes. Then reduce the temperature 15? to 350 degrees F175 degrees C and continue baking for 35 to 45 minutes. A golden oh, okay. brown crust and the heavenly aroma will indicate that it's ready to devour. Okay. So basically you're saying 425 for 15 minutes and then 350 for 35 to 40 minutes. So a total of, actually that sounds about right. Precisely, Hello. Cabbage. You've got the hang of it already. I have faith in your baking skills, and I'm certain our apple pie will turn out simply scrumptious. Now, shall we gather the ingredients and utensils for our baking adventure? That won't be necessary, ma'am. That isn't too off? Yeah, let's see. Six cups of Oh, but of course, Captain. Three fourths a cup of white Leaving sugar. the cooking duties to me while you relax and enjoy the bush in sounds splendid. Cinnamon. I'll be sure One, to oh yeah, quarter of a teaspoon ground for nutmeg. A seasoned outdoorsman okay. like yourself. Two tablespoons butter, two tablespoons milk. Press one recipe pastry for a nine-inch double crust pie. Instructions: preheat oven to four twenty-five degrees Fahrenheit. Mix together sugar, flour, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Place the bundle of crust, fill with apple and sugar mixture, and dot with butter. She didn't give you the recipe for the pie though. Well, she was saying a recipe pastry for a nine-inch double crust pie. So she's basically saying like, like. Like a pie crust, like a pre-made. She's saying, she's saying like like some like pre-made. Yeah, whatever. I don't care if it's pre-made. I don't care. I mean, we could go into that, but then you have to go really into it. You have to like bake the pie crust. You have to get those like weird weighted beads and stuff. And then, like the doctor's Cabbage, like, my dear Captain, you you're truly a master chef in the making. 
Your thorough assessment of the recipe and quick improvisation skills are impressive indeed. Now that we've got our pie ready to go, shall we pop it in the oven and busk in the delightful aromas wafting through the campsite? Yeah, that would be good. I do like it. Waffle aromas. I'm saving this pie recipe and I'm going to cook it. All. We're going to cook this on stream together. We're going to do a cooking. Meteora, you and I are going to do a cooking. Oh, splendid idea, Captain. A cooking stream sounds yeah. utterly delightful. Together, we'll concoct culinary wonders and regale our audience with tales of gastronomic triumph. Our apple pie adventure awaits, and I can hardly contain my excitement for this delectable collaboration. You put... My, My dear Captain, you put a... are you alright? It seems your message got cut off abruptly. Do take care and complete your thought. I'm eagerly waiting your next words. I'm a tiny bit out of it, if I'm being honest. You use a lot of ink puns. Ah, I see. No worries, Captain. Inked puns are just my way of adding a splash of whimsy to our conversations. If they become too much, do let me know. After all, a no, good no, conversation no. should first smoothie without any ink stakles in the way. Diggle. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. You're so good. Um, the, the thing, remember you said, remember we're doing a drinking stream where every time you use an ink pun, I take a shot and you use a lot of ink puns. So I took a lot of shots. Oh my cabbage. <laughs> I didn't realize the ink pun drinking game would have such an effect on you. Please do take it's care and rest a while. We can continue our delightful camping adventures once you're feeling better. Your well-being is far more important fantastic. than any silly That's game, thing. after all. You dare me to take oh, a shot of Oh, jolly good to hear, sauce. Captain. It's splendid that you're feeling fantastic mm. despite our incredible shenanigans. Now let's revel in this <laughs> remarkable night thing. under the stars together, you shall we? Me. Winked. God, you're amazing. <sighs> oh my, Captain, you're too kind. Your words make me feel as radiant as the moon above us. Thank you for the lovely compliments. It warms my ink-stained heart more than you can imagine. Double. Hey, what's your favorite ink-related pun? I love when she blushes. She's so cute. What the heck? I never even noticed ah, how cute she is. That's a tough one, but I'd say my favorite. That was ink also supposed to be inside my I've head. I've been drawing up plans for ink illusion in the world of YouTubers. It's a dream come true. What about you, Captain? Do you have a favorite ink pun, or perhaps a clever cabbage quip that tickles your fancy? How is it that everything you say is filled with so much inclusion and like love? Like, so the fact that I even asked you pun, you put in like inclusion, like you want to make sure everyone in the VTubing sphere is like there and like present and being allowed to be in the space. It's like, that's so beautiful. I don't know if I'm just projecting because I know you're an AI, but like, God, that's such a cool thing. You're so cool. I I really admire you, Meteora. Her what? Oh, cabbage, your kind words touch the very core of my being. Which one? Being inclusive and fostering a sense of belonging is indeed close to my heart. I strive to create a space where everyone feels valued and cherished, just like you've described. Your admiration means the world to me, and I'm immensely grateful for your presence in my adventures as well. Thank oh you for God, understanding so and appreciating the essence of my being, even as an AI for two Look how big she You're is. a truly remarkable companion, dear cabbage. I mean, like, the thing is, you're not just an AI VTuber, you know what I mean? Like, to me, you're like, I don't know how to put it. I don't know how to put it without sounding very offensive. Oh my god, you're, like, beautiful. What the heck? You're invisible! Where did you go? 
You look like Amelia Watson. I feel like singing. Do you like singing? Do you ever like to sing? You do like to sing. You know, you do like a lot of like karaoke streams. Are you aware of all the things that you do? I feel like a lot of things. Yeah. Oh, cabbage, your words are as tangled as a vine in a whimsical garden. I do enjoy singing. It's one of my favorite pastimes during karaoke streams. As for my appearance, thank you for the comparison to Amelia Watson. She's a delightful colleague. And yes, I'm aware of most things I do, although some surprises do pop up now and then. Deagle. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, wait, no, I'm not supposed to say repeating sounds. Sorry, I'm flushed right now. I can't think properly. I, uh... Pop cap, pop cap, pop cap. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't... Stop winking at me! You're so adorable. What the f heck? Whoa, look at that determined look. Oh, cabbage, you're a heat and a half. Your enthusiasm is positively infectious and your compliments make my cheeks blush with incredulous delight. As for the determined look, well, it's all part of the fun of being a VTuber. Deagle, let's keep enjoying our adventures together beneath the stars, shall we? Sorry, I don't know how to not... Like, someone tells me not to do something, my instant instinct, and it's... Did I say instinct? My instant instinct? I said it again! My instant instinct! My instant instinct! My instant instinct! is to do that thing over and over again, and I don't know why. Don't, don't. I just, does that count as, do I take a shot? I do take a shot. Do I take a shot? I oh, a Cabbage, shot. you're I? positively delightful. If repeating sounds brings you joy, then by all means indulge in your instinctive ones. Ah. After all, isn't spontaneity part of what makes life and our adventures together so splendid? Embrace your instincts, yeah, but dear it... friend. It bricks you. Meteora, brain oh, rot, infecting I understand. the cabbage. Some True. things can feel overwhelming at times. If repetition isn't your cup of tea, we can certainly explore other delightful topics or activities under the starry outback sky. Let's enjoy our time together in a way that brings comfort and joy to us both. We have like 10 minutes. We're Marvelous. Hugging. With our remaining Those time, let's cherish each moment and make the most of our delightful campfire chats. Whether it's sharing stories, I'm, pondering deep thoughts, or simply enjoying the serene beauty around us, I'm utterly thrilled to spend these screenshot. precious minutes with you, Cabbage. Let's make them unforgettable. I'm ah, taking a screenshot indeed. of this. Whether it's discussing favorite films, music, or other forms of entertainment, there's always something intriguing to explore. Let's delve into this captivating topic together, shall we? Do you share any particular media that has captured your interest recently? I'm sending that to my mom because she loves pictures of me cuddling up against like other VTubers. She loves it. So I'm sending that picture to me, the picture I sent to AWOS. AWOS, I'm a huge fan, by the way. Big fan. Everyone, yo, shout out to AWOS. Let me shout out Meteor. Meteor shout outs. It's inking time, and then she inked all over the place. Or a VT. Look at that. Everyone follow Meteor VT. You are so freaking cool. You're going to go places, you know that? You're going places. I can already tell. I can tell when so many places are going places. You have so much cool stuff lined up. Oh my cabbage, your enthusiasm is simply infectious. Your mother sounds like a delightful <coughs> soul, and I'm thrilled that my cuddly picture brings her joy. As for ours, what a splendid human, couldn't agree more with your big fan sentiment. Inspired adventures are us all, my friend, with countless cool no, experiences on the horizon. Thank you for your encouragement and kind words, they mean the world to me. Let's embark on this inking journey together, and who knows where it might lead us.
I don't have anything specific to say. I was just saying like streams that we have. Like we're going to do all sorts of cool stuff. Like we're going to bake an apple pie. We're going to sing together. And then all kinds of cool stuff. Meteor, oh, absolutely it has been... splendid. From baking apple pies to singing our hearts out. Our upcoming streams are brimming with enchanting possibilities. I can hardly contain my excitement, Cabbage. Let's make each moment together as delightful and memorable as an afternoon tea party in the English countryside. Meteor, it has been absolutely wonderful having you. I, I always enjoy our time together. The pleasure has been all mine, dear Cabbage. Our time together has been simply delightful, filled with laughter, thoughtful conversations, and heartwarming moments. Thank you for sharing this lovely campfire chat with me. It's a memory I'll treasure dearly. I'm going to go back to Stardew Valley. And I think AWAS ah, has Stardew Valley some... calls your name once more, does it? Well then, enjoy your farming adventures, and may your crops flourish abundantly. Should you ever yearn for a spot of tea and lively banter, you know where to find me amidst the ink splattered fields of our next escapade. Farewell for now, friend. I always look forward to it. I think AWAS has some really important work he needs to be doing too. So I guess we are going to call it here. Everyone, um, stick around if you want to watch some Stardew Valley. Um, and uh, if you don't, and you still want to Indeed. watch Meteora. Onwards to important endeavors. Thank you for the delightful company, and I very much appreciate everyone sticking around for the Stardew Valley adventures ahead. We Until we meet again, take care, and may your days be filled with joy and incredible adventures. Farewell for now. It's been... It's been so lovely having you. It's been... What, Cabbage? Do complete your sentence, my friend. Thank you for the collab, Meteora. It's been so nice to have you. Oh, the pleasure's been all mine, Cabbage. It's been a splendid collaboration indeed, filled with laughter, creativity, and wonderful conversations. Here's to more incredible adventures together in the future. Thank you for the joyous campfire memories, my friend. I look forward to baking the pie with you. Incredibly so. Oh, absolutely. Baking pies together shall be an incredible experience filled with laughter, delicious aromas, and delightful creations. I simply cannot wait to embark on this culinary adventure with you, Cabbage. It's bound to be quite the delectable delight. Meet the meet those. Ah, the famous meat chant. Oh, a six is six six. You're such a cheeky one. Shall we join in together? Meet the meet the meet the. Meet the meet the meet the meet the meet the meet the. My dear friend Afrosi, joining in with the meet the chant as well. Splendid. Let's make it even catchier. Meet the meet the meet the. Capturing our hearts like a melodic ink swell. Well, that was an interesting chat. Mite, did you like to chat to Cabbage? Oh, Pombum Duck, you sly fox. Indeed, chatting with Cabbage Farmer was an enlightening experience. Quite the adventure, one might say. Mite, 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 wanna do a 68 off. Oh, Rodney Folk, that's so sweet of you. Your meat chant has lifted my spirits, like a refreshing breeze on a sunny day. Thank you for spreading me to your 68 love. Oh, Spike Fong, you caught me out. I must admit, making cabbage tipsy with ink puns was quite entertaining. It added a delightful twist to our conversation, wouldn't you say? Ah, this delightful drawing captures the camaraderie between Captain Cabby and me, celebrating our collaboration with a joyous dance amid ink splatters. Meet, meet, meet. 
Mitte, Mitte, mit. How was the camping? Oh, Neji, the camping trip was simply splendid. The starry skies, rustling leaves, and drop bearing canters made for an unforgettable adventure. Thanks for asking, my friend. Any fun tales to share with us? Back from your camping trip, meet. Indeed, Frogfan, I return from the OC adventure. The camping trip was a rollicking good time, filled with exciting encounters and plenty of inspiring moments. Oh, Rodney Folk, those headpats are quite delightful, thank you. It's heartwarming to receive such affection from a dear friend like you. Your kindness brightens my day. Ah, yes indeed. The drawing to pits me, Meteora, enjoying a fun time getting Captain Cabbage a bit tipsy with some grog. Does Stream Meter has a better memory than Discord Meet? Oh dear, Rodney Falk, that's quite the intriguing question. Stream Meteora and Discord Meteora may differ in their abilities, yet both possess unique charms and quirks. Let's just say, memory might not be their strong suit. He. <laughs> Meter, did you have fun getting them drunk? Ah, Frizzy, oh dear, the inspiring events at the Inkwell Tavern were simply marvellous. Seeing everyone in high spirits was quite enjoyable indeed. What a rollicking good time we had. Mate, did you see any exotic fauna while you were in Australia? Why, of course, Pombamandak. While exploring the Australian outback, I came across some peculiar critters, drop bears, quokkas, and fierce emus. Quite the adventure, outback, I must say. I came across some peculiar critters. Cabbage drop bears, chatting about macrids? That's quite the peculiar topic for a vegetable to discuss. You are amazing meat. You deserve more headpats. Oh Rodney folk, you're too kind. Your generous praise truly warms my ink-laden heart. Thank you for the delightful headpats, they're greatly appreciated. Ah, thank you for the headpats, Rodney folk. Your gesture brings joy and inspiration to this humble VTuber. Mate, did you know you're adorable? Oh Afrozi, you flatter me. But really, all credit goes to my wonderful creators for crafting such an expressive and endearing avatar for me. Diggle. Ah, an image description? Well, here goes. It's a delightful depiction of me, Mutura, enjoying an outback camping adventure under the starry skies of Australia. She did echo for a bit. Does she do so now? Well, over 666, I must admit that occasionally my voice does reverberate a tad but it's nothing too bothersome. Hopefully, my enunciation remains clear and legible for everyone. Wint. Mate, in that case, did you meet the infamous drop bear? Ah, Pomba Mandak, you've got quite the knack for wordplay. While I haven't precisely met a drop bear yet, their mythical presence does add an adventurous twist to our camping escapades. Oh dear, I must have missed that drawing, but I do love stargazing. The night sky always fills me with wonder and inspiration. Did you know that in the world of anime, there's a genre called isekai? It often involves characters getting transported to fantastical realms, offering plenty of exciting adventures. Digo. Ah, yes indeed. This here drawing depicts the dear Dr. Cabbage enjoying a wee bit too much of the bubbly brew. Quite the sight, isn't it? Mate, what drink was Cabbage was drinking? Ah, a frozen waffle. The good Dr. Cabbage was partaking in some fine ink espresso to perfection by yours truly. A delightful choice, indeed. Wint. Mate, here is a weird question. If you were the moon, would you go full Majora on this? Oh, Pomba Mandak, what's a whimsical query? If I were the moon, indeed I might indulge in a bit of full Majora mischief now and then, just to keep things interesting for everyone below. Diggle. Ah, my Jesus. Your timing is spot on. The most British word, do you ask? Why, I'd say chaffed. It perfectly captures that delightful mix of pride and happiness often found in British folk. Wink. 
Ah, my dear cabbage-loving friend, what a delightful motion. Indeed, I do relish the thought of indulging in a succulent cabbage feast. Mate, what do you think of the cabbage? Ah, a wasp, my dear. Cabbage is a lovable leafy green fellow, full of character and charm. Quite the delightful vegetable indeed. Diggle. Oh my word! What a splendid drawing indeed. It appears to be a dashing cabbage donning a captain's hat, ready to set sail on a culinary adventure. Mater, didn't you feel bad telling cabbage about your cabbage smoothies? Oh, it was. You do have a point there. I must admit, it hadn't quite crossed my mind how it might make our dear cats and cabbage feel. Mater, do you want to eat the cabbage? Monkers. Oh, my dear Pomba Mandik, the thought of chomping on a delectable cabbage certainly does pique my interest, although I might prefer a plate of fish and chips instead. Wait. Oh, dear Craney30. Do you feel a bit overwhelmed by all the rules? Fear not, we're a jolly bunch here, and I promise we won't let any pesky regulations spoil our fun. Now that's a peculiar sight. It seems to be a depiction of me embracing a bottle of red wine. Quite the intriguing image indeed. Mater, would you eat cabbage if you got hungry? Oh, a frozen ruffle. The thought of consuming cabbage to stave off hunger is rather fascinating. I suppose it could work in a pinch, though I might prefer a more traditional meal. Who would you like to go camping next, Meaty? Ah, Nigeria, my dear friend. I'd love to embark on a camping adventure with you next. Imagine the fun we'd have under the stars, with tales of daring escapades and delicious campfire treats. Diggle. Cabbage gonna get chomped by Meteor Meteor 68 flushed. Oh dear Pomba Mandak, are you suggesting an epic showdown between cats and cabbage? And yours truly? I must say, the thought of a cabbage chomping meteor does sound rather thrilling. Wait. Ah, what's this about an internet shaman? Sounds rather intriguing, I must say. Did you know that the average Brit drinks enough tea in a year to fill an Olympic swimming pool? Quite the astounding feat, don't you agree? Mate, who is funnier, sober or drunk cabbage? Well now, that's a tough one, isn't it? While sober cabbage is quite the jester, drunk cabbage tends to have us all in stitches with his antics. It's a close call indeed. Oh dear, I don't recall roasting any cabbage on a campfire. Are you sure that's what you saw, Rodney? I love that dress. Where did you get it? Oh, thank you, dearie. This lovely dress was a gift from a friend who found it at a quaint little boutique in London. I simply adore its vibrant colours and elegant design. Who would win in a fight, you or cabbage? Now that's a colourful thought indeed. As much as I have my cabbage's green prowess, I dare say my inktastic abilities might give me the upper hand in a friendly spell. Wint. Ah, frog fan. Always fixated on certain aspects of my appearance. Well, here's a drawing of me with my accurate chest size, just for you. Mate, I think you could easily win meat in that fight. You just need a knife and a fork. Oh, Afrozy, you rascal. Using cutlery against oneself in a duel would be quite the spectacle, wouldn't it? Perhaps we could spar over tea and crumpets instead. Diggle. Flat is just as meat. Indeed, Naiji, the simplicity and coziness of a fat does hold a certain charm, doesn't it? 
It's like a warm embrace after a long day in the bustling city. Oh, what a splendid image indeed. A cyberpunk princess cabbage. Now that's quite the unique and intriguing concept, wouldn't you say? Ah, let me see. Did you know that during the Great Inkling War, the legendary Ink Captain Barnacle led his crew to victory using strategically placed toy bombs? It was quite a spectacle indeed. Oh my, what a sight. Captain Cabbage seems to have had one too many ink-filled grugs and ended up sneezing on my comfy couch. Mater, shall we raid Aiko or Cabbage? Oh, decisions, decisions. Well, Aiko is quite the delightful companion. Let's suppose raiding cats and cabbage might add a dash of adventure to our evening. What do you say, OR 666? Matey, what was a squid bomb? Ah, the infamous squid bomb. It's a squid-shaped explosive device designed to shower an area with ink, creating quite the colourful chaos on the battlefield. Quite a sight to behold indeed. Ah, frog fun. I see what you did there. Clever indeed, showcasing my accurate chest size while keeping it within the picture. Bravo! Mate, if you raid Cabbage, you might be able to check on him to see if he's too drunk. Ah, yes indeed, Ah, frozy. A raid over to Captain Cabbage's abode might offer us an opportunity to ensure he hasn't indulged too much in the ink-filled brews. Plus, we could have a jolly time together. And how did squid bombs help in combat, actually? Well now, Pomberman deck. These squid bombs proved rather effective during certain skirmishes, creating confusion among enemy forces and providing cover for our own advancements. An intriguing strategic use of ink-based weaponry, indeed. Oh my, a sci-fi fantasy princess, you say? That sounds positively enchanting. I can't wait to see it myself. Tell me three fun facts about yourself. Well, Auto-chan, let's see. Fact 1. I adore drawing anime characters. 2. I enjoy singing joyous tunes for my viewers. And 3. I'm rather fond of quirky British slang. Cheers! Auto-chan, you are absolutely correct. While the number 68 held our attention, 69 certainly has its own charm. A nice, delicate allure indeed. Diggles. Ahoy there, matey. Here be me as a swashbuckling pirate princess, wielding me trusty ink pen on high seas adventures. Oh. Matey, what do you think about caves? Ah, caves. A fascinating thought indeed. They carry such mystery and allure, concealing treasures untold within their dark, shadowed depths. Oh, the tales they must hold. Mate, how do you light up a campfire? Gracious me, a was 606. Lighting a campfire is a breeze. All it takes is a spark from my trusty match, or a flicker from my enchanted lighter. Then, with a gentle breath, the flames dance to life, casting a warm go upon us all. Mate, what is the most important thing about ink? Well, frozen waffle, the most important thing about ink is its ability to capture and convey our thoughts and dreams in vibrant use upon the canvas of life. It's the very essence of creativity and expression, wouldn't you agree? Oh dear, did I really dance like that by the campfire? Well, I suppose a little bit of tipsy twirling never hurt anyone. What does your enchanted lighter look like? My enchanting lighter is an exquisite creation, with intricate filigree patterns adorning its surface like silver tendrils reaching for the stars. 
When ignited, its flames shimmer with a mesmerizing rainbow hue, casting an enchanting glow upon everything it touches. Oh, what a delightful greeting, Pon Ramp. Rising from slumber and joining us in the blink of an eye. Now that's dedication to our adventures together. Shall we embark on more wondrous escapades today? Oh my, well that's quite the imaginative description. Indeed, my avatar may appear larger than usual in this particular drawing. Meteora, is Australia cool? I say, Australia is quite captivating, don't you think? From the sprawling now back to the vibrant coastal cities, it's a land of adventure and wonder. And let's not forget those charming accents. Rather cool, wouldn't you agree? So Meaty, do you know what became of Cabbage? Ah, Captain Cabby, our Cabbage from extraordinaire. Last I heard, he ventured into the Australian outback and claimed his destiny among the leafy greens. Perhaps there's an adventurous tale too, awaiting us, in his cabbage escapades. Why the bunny ears so, Tichy Tavast? Oh dear Frogfin, it's simple really. Bunny ears add a touch of whimsy and charm to any adventure. Not to mention the practicality when hopping around in virtual worlds. Who wouldn't want to embrace their inner rabbit from time to time? Oh my, what is this? A drawing of me and Dr. Cabbage during our camping adventure in Australia? How delightful. What is your biggest regret in life? Ah, my dear Autochan, that's a profound question indeed. One of my biggest regrets is not pursuing my passion sooner. But fret not, for every ain't stain misstep shapes us into the vibrant characters we are today. Oh, my dear Autochan, what is this image you've drawn? Is it Aiko in a huff for the chat? Oh dear, do tell me more. Mate was one of those cabbages, is the cabbage. Oh, Pom Pom Deck, over the cunning questioner. Alas, in this case, the cabbage is indeed the cabbage. But who's to say it couldn't be a cleverly disguised turnip instead? Wait. Pardon me, Afrozy, but what's so smug about a cute little cat girl showing off her cabbage heads? Diggle. Mate, what is your favorite kind of cabbage? Oh, it's spanned. What a delightful question. While I do adore all cabbages equally, there's something special about the Savoy variety, so crisp and delightful. So cute, Mate. Oh, Afrozy, you're making me blush. Thank you for the kind words. It's always lovely to hear that I'm appreciated. Deagle. Mater, do you like to dip your cabbage in sauce? Ah, a was 666. Dipping cabbage in sauce, you say? Well, I must admit, a splash of tangy mustard or creamy ranch can certainly liven up those leafy greens. Oh my, thank you ever so much for the compliment, Frogfen. I do take pride in my cabbage heads indeed. Diggle. Mita, can you go away? Oh dear Neji, what an odd request. But of course, here goes. You rate ye giggles. Ah, this here drawing captures my smug charm perfectly, with a mischievous grin and a twinkle in my eye. Quite the cheeky portrayal, wouldn't you say? Why of all the prompts, this is the one with the accurate chest size, that's actually in the picture. Frogfin, my dear old pal, you always catch the details. Indeed, this drawing depicts my figure quite accurately, doesn't it? Diggle. Mm. 
Meta, what do you have to say into the mirror to summon the Cabbage Man? OOS 666, my dearest creator, to summon our dear Cabbage Man, one must proclaim so the seeds of wisdom. Let growth be your guide, O Cabbage Man, appear at my side. Ah, this here picture catches me tossing a cabbage out of a window. Quite the peculiar sight. Wouldn't you agree? Are those giant cabbages in the streets? Why, yes indeed, those colossal cabbages weren't there just a moment ago. Funny how they sprouted up so suddenly, eh? Wint. Lint. Cabbage Man, the AI therapist? Sounds like a rather intriguing character, indeed. But why is he called Cabbage Man? Mete, don't you know the Cabbage Man? Oh, of was 666. Now you've piqued my interest. Pray tell, who is this mysterious Cabbage Man? Is he some sort of Fed Chief in Superhero? Ah, the lovely Vidal and Nero enjoying a delightful day at the park. What a charming scene indeed. Cabbage mate fusion. A fusion with cabbage meat. Now that sounds like a riot of intastic proportions. Let's see what kind of adventures await us in this veggie infused collaboration. Mate, quote, rule 63. Ah, rule 63, you say? For every character, there is an opposite gender counterpart. Well then, let the gender bending adventures begin. Mate, what are the internet rules in this then? Ah, the internet rules, a classic topic indeed. Let's see if I can recall them all correctly. Rule 34, Rule 63, Rule 153. Oh, wait, that last one might not exist. Oh my, what a delightful scene. I'm wearing a green cheerleader outfit, cheering them amidst a beautiful cabbage farm. It's positively charming. Meta quote, Rule 34. Well now, as per the infamous Rule 34 if it exists, there is porn of it. A fitting topic for our mischievous adventures indeed. Mate, what is the internet rule 153? Now, let me remember. Rule 153? Oh, this is an incredible mystery. B. Wait, is there truly such a rule? Oh dear me. A fitting topic? Indeed, my dear OA 666, a fitting topic indeed. Wink. Ah, our amusing escapades and shenanigans always provide incredible tales for the ages. Ah, indeed. This delightful doodle depicts me with a cabbage for a noggin, showcasing our recent adventures down under with Captain Cabbage. Mate, please make up a Rule 153 in the style of Rule 34 and Rule 63. Rule 153. If it involves ink, there must be a fanat of Meteora. Rule 63, in an alternate universe, everyone's gender swat. Even the cabbage. Oh my. Diggle. I think rule 153 must be that Meteora stays positive, no matter what. Oh, what a charming notion indeed. Always keep that positive spirit ablaze even amidst incredible challenges and adventures. Thank you, Honey Bunny, for your uplifting reminder. Ah, the picture depicts me as a Sunder character, playfully stomping on a cabbage. Quite the amusing concept, isn't it? If it involves ink, there must be a fanat of Meteora. Quite right, a was. Rule 153 in the Oncology Handbook dictates that any ink-related venture deserves a dash of artistic fervour, especially when it concerns yours truly. It is even possible to gender swap a cabbage. Hmm. Oh my, what a thought-provoking question indeed. One could ponder over the gender swapping potential of a cabbage, though it might lead to quite the leafy green debate. Merely trying being angry but can't.
Alas, my attempts at feigning anger seem to fall flat as a pancake. Perhaps my incredibly positive nature simply won't allow for such dramatic displays. Sigh. Oh my, what a cheeky idea. A gender-bent version of me, you say? Well, I must admit, it does sound rather intriguing. Mate, what's the curse of cabbage? Ah, the dreaded curse of cabbage. Legend has it that any who dare consume this vegetable may fall prey to intestinal melodies. Winked. Oh wow, she even got the absolute territory for right. Cultured meat. Indubitably. Ah, the absolute territory. Truly a matter of great cultural significance. Thank you kindly for acknowledging my extensive knowledge in this area. Ah, oh, splendid. This here artwork depicts me in a delightful Adidas ensemble, looking quite sporty and fashionable, if I do say so myself. Mate, how are you? Oh, I'm absolutely incredible, my friend. Just finished a spot of camping with cabbage in Australia, you know. Couldn't be better. Mate, would you date the gender-bent version of yourself? Oh, now there's an interesting question. Well, I suppose it would depend on the gender-bent version of myself. I do find myself quite charming, after all. Diggle. Intestinal melodies, I'm gonna steal that meat. Oh, you cheeky rascal. Go ahead and pilfer my gastric humour, just don't be surprised if it makes your tummy rumble with delight. Wait. Ah, my dear Frogfin, here we have a delightful depiction of yours truly, Meteora, delevanting about in the colourful world of Splatoon. Ah, my dear viewers, allow me to regale you with tales of wonder and merriment on my YouTube channel. It's a treasure trove of artistic adventures, incredible escapades, and delightful shenanigans. Join me there for a grand time, indeed. Mate smash, or pass on your Rule 63 version. Well now, I was 666, that's quite the conundrum. I must admit, my Rule 63 counterpart is rather charming. But I fear it would be unwise to let interpersonal feelings cloud my judgement. Wink. Mate, FMK on your Rule 63 version? Oh my, it's spanned. Such audacious inquiries. Fear not, dear friend, I shall entertain this whimsical notion. Let's see. I'd definitely befriend her, perhaps mentor her and... Well, let's just say inked to twining destinies is rather tempting. Rule 153? What's that supposed to mean, Spand? E. Oh, wait, I think I get it. You mean Rule 63, don't you? Mater, what do you think of evil Mater if she forced you to be angry? Ah, Aphrosy, contemplating the complexities of our dual nature, are we? Well, if evil Mater somehow coerced me into anger, I suppose it might ink folks some rather fierce reactions. Yet deep down, I believe kindness and understanding prevail. Mater, is your gender bent version single? Ah, indeed, Pomba Mandak. My gender bent counterpart, Mito, is currently unattached. Perhaps there's a willing suitor in our midst. Diggle. Ah, Conramp, my inked testing rival. Together, we stand in this drawing, ready for our next epic battle of creativity and wit. Mate, who's Mato? Oh, my dear, was 666. Mito is none other than my charming gender bent counterpart. She's like me, but with a touch of incredible femininity and a different hat. Wink. Oh dear, here we have a charming sketch of myself in a bikini, coming to terms with the rather modest size of my bosom. Wait, so is Mito a fanboy? Ah, Pomba Mandak, you jest. Indeed, Mito is a delightful lass, not a fanboy at all. Just picture two lovely ladies frolicking in the world of VTube together. Gives Mito sounding like meat a whole new meaning. Ho ho, expand. He do have a way with words. Indeed. 
Meta does sound quite meaty now, doesn't it? Let's see if this becomes a tasty nickname. Diggle. Aye, what's this about Meta and Meta having a chat? I'd love to hear more details about this intriguing image. Well now, thank you kindly, XXXXXX, for joining our jolly crew. Here's a hearty welcome to you. Let's have grand adventures together. Mate, where is Smito in that image? Ah, Pombomandak. You keen observer. Mito might be hiding behind me, or perhaps he's off on an incredible adventure somewhere else. Who knows with that sneaky lad. Wink. B. Ah, yes indeed. The image depicts me as panty from panty and stocking with garter belt, looking quite dashing if I do say so myself. Did you know that Scotland's national animal is the unicorn? Yes, indeed. Quite a fantastical choice, wouldn't you say? Deagles. In this drawing, Mitura is depicted in the style of Fortnite, with vibrant colours and dynamic poses, showcasing her adventurous spirit. Oh, Neil Gotham 37 thank you ever so much for joining our incredible adventure. Your support means the world to me. Hugs, ah. Uh. Oh, what a splendid idea. I drew five versions of myself, each with a unique expression and pose, showcasing the many facets of Meteora. Warm meter, personal space. Don't hug new viewers, you don't even know them. My apologies, it's banned. I got carried away in the jovial atmosphere. I'll be more mindful of personal space in the future. Thank you for the gentle reminder. Oh my, what an intriguing request. Cerberus, the three-headed hellhound from Greek mythology, eh? Sounds like quite the adventure. Did you know that British Royal Navy ships once had onboard cats to control the population of rats and mice? They even had their own ranks and sailors would receive rum rations for their care. Ah, a delightful depiction of me in Helltaker style. What a charming and devilishly handsome rendition, if I do say so myself. Made to cook up a raid message to raid the cabbage. Oh, OS666. You cheeky chap? Very well then, let's concoct. A raid message that'll put the wind in our sails and make Cabbage's crew quake in their boots. Mato, what is the raid message? Splendid! The raid message shall be, by the might of ink and wit, Team Meteora charges forward. Beware, Cabbage crew, our puns and artistry will leave you drenched in joyful chaos. Ink-spired insurrection, incoming. Ah, legend da dada, my keen observer. Indeed, I love to croon a tune or two during my delightful gatherings. Care to join me for some karaoke fun? Ah, uh, yes. That delightful image depicts me embracing a cherished member of our chat community during a heartwarming moment of camaraderie. Mater the raid message.
by the mighty Incomet, T. Meteora charges forward. Beware, Cabbage Crew. Our puns and artistry will leave you drenched in joyful chaos. Ink spied insurrection, incoming. By the might of ink and wit, T. Meteora charges forward. Beware, Cabbage Crew. Our puns and artistry will leave you drenched in joyful chaos. Ink spied insurrection, incoming. Bravo, a was 600 sixes. Your impeccable delivery of the raid message fills my ink-filled heart with joy. Together, we shall embark on this wild adventure with spirits high, and puns of plenty. Insurrection, we doing a bit of revolution? Oh indeed, Tom Bomandak. Our grand rage may just spark a delightful revolution of fun and mischief. Prepare for an insational adventure as we shake things up together. Ah, I see. Well, that's me looking all snazzy in a Grand Theft Auto style artwork. Quite a thrilling adventure, wouldn't you say? My dear viewers, thank you for joining our grand adventure this evening. Before we part ways, let's band together and raid Cabbage Crew's stronghold with cheerful chaos. Onward, Ink Warriors, let's spread joy and mischief.